You might think these animals could be fantastic pets or decor to brighten up your living room and intrigue your guests, but I wouldn't go petting them if I were you. These brightly colored animals are main examples of aposematic coloration. They may be alluring to the eye, but these colors signify danger. The danger of death. You're going a little overboard. Stop trying to scare our viewers away. In many cases, the poisons secreted by these organisms are only deadly if eaten. Throughout the animal kingdom, the use of toxins as a defense mechanism is present through many species, from fishes to insects to birds to reptiles and amphibians. These animals, however, must have a way to convey their danger visually to potential predators. What good is being toxic as a defense mechanism if by the time the predator knows it, it is because they have already eaten you? Warning coloration, known as aposematic coloration, provides a visual cue for predators that their potential prey should be avoided if they want to continue to live. Yet I feel not everyone gets the picture. The success of this coloration only works when present across a population so that predators may learn what to avoid by experience and even evolve a fear or avoidance of certain characteristics over a long enough period of time through generations. This survival technique was discovered by Alfred Russell Wallace. It was discussed between him and Charles Darwin in a letter. From there, Wallace had requested data from the Entomological Society and successfully tested warning coloration, also known as aposematic. How did he test aposematic coloration? Well, Selena, Wallace conducted experiments and observations that involved brightly colored caterpillars. Warning coloration was a large part of Wallace's contributions. Which types of animals did he test his theory on? He first tested on brightly colored caterpillars. But there are many types of animals that use this technique, such as amphibians, more specifically, the poison dart frog. Probably one of the most famous organisms to use this warning and distasteful coloration. The coloration of the frog warns prey and predator alike to avoid the dynamically colored amphibians at all costs. Many insects in nature use warning coloration to survive. Insects such as the horned moth, the trio sphinx moth, blue morpho butterfly, and many more. Most colorations are used to deter and incite fear into the predator in order to survive. For example, with the hornet moth, it is colored like the yellow jacket wasp, a black and yellow warning to help the insect live just a little longer. The hooded pitahue is a bird that uses aposematic coloration itself. The patches of orange is the deterrent or warning to others. The hooded pitahue is actually poisonous and that comes from its diet of chorocene beetles. The homopatrachial toxin causes numbing and tingling to those who touch the bird, and imagine if one were to foolishly ingest the animal. Because of the dangers that this bird presents, others have adopted to the specific coloration of the hooded pitahue, such as its relative, the variable pitahue. The most common colors associated with aposematic coloration include black, yellow, blue, red, and orange. These color patterns can be directly linked to an animal's potential for survivorship as well as habitat preference. For example, black and dark colors result in faster predator learning and aversion in terrestrial ecosystems. Blues and yellows have the highest visual signals in shallow marine water, while reds and oranges are most effective in lake and river systems. Color in nature has evolved over the years to serve several purposes. As a protective function, color can ward predators that an animal is poisonous or bad tasting. How did these colors become so popular in nature? It is believed that a chemical defense system was first established in the animals before warning coloration developed. Natural selection then favored the brightly uniform color pattern for each species because it was easily recognizable to the predators. Wouldn't the bright color pattern cause an increase in species mortality because the predators could see them more easily? Normally, natural selection favors defenses with low risk that increases species production. However, in order for warning coloration to work, a number of individuals must be killed to educate the predator that their species must be averted due to distastefulness or toxic danger. It is proposed that if animals of aposematic coloration and similar species form large groups, they will create a warning sign of increased signal proficiency. It is believed that the trend started with insects, who have greater numbers within their species than any other amphibian fish or reptile. Once predators learn to avoid the bright colors on insects, it is believed that they started to avoid these colors in all species. But still, wouldn't it be better for the species to evolve a camouflage coloring rather than a noticeably bright color pattern? That would seem like the obvious choice. However, aposematic prey provides faster avoidance learning than does cryptic prey. These predators can learn that a certain insect or snake tastes bad or is toxic in a single generation and will also develop negative associations with these colors 
and will most likely avoid similar patterns in the future. Now, in every niche or ecosystem, there are always those that try and take the easy way around things. Batesian mimicry is when another organism copies the pattern and or coloration of a poisonous species in order to protect itself by making predators shy away. Examples of these organisms are the milk snake versus the coral snake. The difference in their patterns of black, yellow, black, red versus the poisonous coloration of black, yellow, red, yellow. Isn't there a saying that goes with that? Red on black, a friend of Jack. Red on yellow, kill a fellow. Ranatomea imitator is a mimic of the summer's poison frog. This is an example of malarian mimicry, which is a natural phenomenon in which two or more poisonous species that could live near each other and have common predators have come to mimic each other's warning signals. This world and its wildlife has many surprises that obviously can be dangerous. But through evolution and natural selection, many animals have adapted in a way that protects themselves and ultimately their species. You know what they say, mimicry is the sincerest form of flattery.